Today I'm gonna to show you how the Wax network works. It's very simple once you get the idea. Most wallets work through sending fees, but how the Wax wallet works is by staking the crypto coin. So what we can do is going to resources and we can see CPU, net, and RAM. These are the three things that make the network work. So instead of sending gas fees all the time, what you can do is let them hold some of your Wax currency and they let you use the network. So there's no charge. Now they're holding your money and you'll need to get it back when you're done. But while they're holding it, there's no charge for CPU and net. RAM you do have to purchase, but it does not take a lot of RAM to get what you need. And one or two wax will probably be plenty for RAM for a while. And then you just want to go ahead and stake the currency with CPU and net. So what I would do is CPU here. Type 100, for example, hit stake, and it's staked. Now, when it's staked, it's going to be on here. It's going to give you more CPU usage depending on how much wax you put on. So I have almost 400, and I find that that number is really nice. I rarely, rarely have problems, and if I do, I could just try to sign more than once in a row, and eventually it usually goes through. I think around the 250 area is kind of the sweet spot, but I just like to have more so I don't have to worry about it because I can always go ahead and get this back. Now, same goes with net, but you don't need that much for the net. I have four wax total, and I'm still at 1%. So I could probably, some people even go 0.2 on the wax. I would at least do one wax personally, but since I have four in there, I think that's fine. And then like I mentioned, RAM, you do have to actually purchase. So CPU, stake, net, stake, and RAM, buy. So if you're just getting started, what I would do is RAM, maybe like two wax, those wax are gonna be gone. And then we'll go ahead and change net, Two wax is fine as well. Go ahead and stake that. And then whatever you can afford left, go with CPU because CPU is the one that's gonna be drawing most of the work. That's what you need. So the more CPU you can put in, the better. So I just put all of mine. Now, can you get this back? You can. However, when you do remove it, it takes 72 hours to come back to you. You don't actually remove it from within this wallet. Right now I'm in the Wax Cloud wallet and that is the one I recommend. It's super awesome. It's so good, it's such a good wallet. Uh, you have your dashboard here, you have your NFTs. I actually just won this NFT yesterday uh, from you know the alien community, so it's kinda cool. And you have other stuff here, staking, ETH bridge, and everything there. So when you're in here, all you would do is go ahead and go to resources and you can see what's going on with this. You also have your wax address up here. And then if you wanna go ahead and bring these back, like, okay, you, you notice you're not having a problem and you need 100 wax to buy something or you wanna withdraw money or something. All you do is you go to this website, which is wax.blocks.io. You go ahead and choose login. It's going to ask you where you're going to choose cloud wallet. When you choose cloud wallet, it did pop up to ask me to install an app. I just hit canceled and clicked it again. And then this comes up, go ahead and choose approve. And now I'm logged in with my address. So next I would click wallet. And here it's going to show me my information. So when you're on this screen, the next thing you want to do is hit stake CPU slash net. And then here's going to be some information you could stake here as well or you can unstake. So we'll go ahead and choose unstake. Here you're gonna choose your account name, how much wax you wanna remove. We're just gonna do one just to show you. Uh, I'm gonna leave my net because my net's already at four and I don't wanna go lower, but we'll take one off of CPU just to show you. We'll go ahead and choose unstake. It'll come up and ask you to sign. Go ahead and choose approve. And here it is, success. So there we have the success and it's gonna go ahead and unstake that one wax and in 72 hours, it will then show up here in my balance. And then I'll be able to do what I want with it. So that's how you do it. If you're having any problems, not enough net CPU errors, RAM errors, that's the reason. You have to buy RAM. You have to stake CPU and net for it to work on the WAX network. It's really nice, though, because you don't have to pay consistent gas fees. It's using this 
to move everything around. Where Ethereum, you have to pay every time you're using it. For this, all you have to do is this on the Wax network and you're good. Make sure you stake it. And then now if I want to get into another game, I already have my CPU, so it's a lot easier to get into other games on the Wax network because there's not that much to deal with. I already have the network portion set up. So now I just have to worry about the game portion. <laughs> And with Alien Worlds basically being a free game, that's why I use it on Alien Worlds. There are other games I'm going to check out that I'm looking at on the Wax Network. But right now, I suggest Alien Worlds. It's free. Here's a video if you want to check it out. And not sponsored or anything, just really enjoying it. And it's a simple game to continue to earn. Again, not financial advice, but thank you so much for the view. And I'll see you in the next one. If you have any questions, leave them down below.